thick smoke hangs over the burning forest of Riau, the eastern province of the Indonesian island of Sumatra. The region, formerly carpeted by lush rainforests, is now rapidly being covered with a blanket of oil palm plantations. Heralded by some as an economic blessing, this development spells disaster for the forests and the people dependent on them. But it also forms a global climate catastrophe. Worldwide, deforestation accounts for around one-fifth of all greenhouse gas emissions. Indonesia ranks as the world's third largest emitter, mainly due to the destruction of its forests for the sake of palm oil. At the edge of the remaining forest, near the village of Kuala Chinaku, Greenpeace campaigner Hapsoro is mapping the progress of the clearcuts. Having logged most of Sumatra's lowland forests, palm oil companies have now turned their attention to the island's remaining peatlands. Sejak Desember 2007, sebenarnya pemerintah Indonesia telah sepakat untuk tidak lagi mengeluarkan izin-izin perkebunan kelapa sawit di atas hutan gambut. Namun yang seperti yang kita lihat sekarang jelas sekali terlihat bahwa sebenarnya perkebunan kelapa sawit, perusahaan perkebunan kelapa sawit melanggar aturan yang telah disepakati oleh pemerintah. Peatlands are perhaps the world's most critical carbon stores. Covering just 3% of the world's land surface, they store around a quarter of the total carbon contained in all land-based biomass. Every year, 1.8 billion tons of greenhouse gases are released by the degradation and burning of Indonesia's peatlands. 4% of global greenhouse gas emissions emanate from an area forming less than 0.1% of the land on Earth. For the inhabitants of the village of Kuala Chinaku, the encroaching forest destruction means a different kind of drama. Toxic runoff from the canals draining the new plantations is poisoning the Chinaku River, killing the fish and crayfish on which the local fishermen depend. Kalulu, walaupun hujan tiga hari aja, air di sungai ini nggak seperti ini, masih putih, nggak merah gini. Lantaran ini air gambut turun kan, jadi ikannya itu habis. Udang-udang itu entah kemana pergi nggak tahu. Gitu. Kuala Chinaku's village chief, Mursid Ali, has been leading his community's fight against the encroaching palm oil industry. He accuses the companies of ignoring the village's ancestral land rights and destroying the people's source of income. Karena ketidaktahuan daripada pemuka adat kedua desa ini, makanya kami mencoba untuk bernegosiasi dengan pihak pemerintahan, tapi belum ada tanggapan dari pemerintahan. Kami ingin bertemu dengan pada kepada pihak perusahaan, tapi dari tahun 2004 sampai sekarang belum bisa bertemu dengan pihak perusahaan untuk uh, mungkin hutan kami sudah habis gitu ya, lahan kita juga yang sudah jadi dia dia musnahkan. Indonesia has now become the epicenter of a global rush for palm oil. Traditionally used as cooking oil here, it has now become a globally important ingredient for products ranging from crisps to margarine and from toothpaste to soap. Europe is one of the main markets for palm oil where it can now be found in one out of ten supermarket products. Anglo-Dutch company Unilever is a primary consumer using the oil in many of its brands. The company chairs the high-profile initiative called the Round Table for Sustainable Palm Oil Producers or RSPO. But on-the-ground investigations by Greenpeace have revealed that members of this round table, including Unilever, continue to source their palm oil from suppliers actively engaged in forest destruction. Wujud nyata dari komitmen anggota-anggota RSPO adalah menyepakati adanya moratorium atas penebangan dan konversi hutan yang ada di Indonesia. Dan ini berarti tidak ada lagi perusakan hutan yang terjadi di Indonesia untuk kepentingan kelapa sawit. Such measures will have to come into effect very quickly if Indonesia's remaining forests are to be saved. Compared to the year 2000, demand for palm oil is predicted to more than double by 2030 and triple by 2050. Its much debated use as a source of biofuels could further exacerbate the situation. Kejadian di Rio adalah contoh dari kejadian sesungguhnya yang terjadi di Indonesia. Untuk menyelamatkan hutan gambut terutama yang ada di Riau sebetulnya sudah sudah terlambat. Ini adalah hutan gambut yang sekarat. 
di mana kita berada sekarang ini adalah hutan gabut yang sudah tidak bisa diselamatkan lagi. Nah, kejadian ini mestinya tidak tidak akan terjadi lagi di wilayah-wilayah yang lain yang ada di Indonesia. Sebagai contohnya daerah Kalimantan atau Papua. Only an immediate halt to the destruction and the restoration of degraded areas can now save the last forest remnants of Riau. Its fate, like that of Indonesia's remaining forests elsewhere, lies in the hands of the palm oil industry. <laughs>